Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as you may know or may not know, I did not do a video about my six month lockup date. So six months, seven months will be all within this video. Now there has been change in my hair since the last video I posted. And one big change is due to my locks beginning to round out. Now, in my five month lock update video, I was talking about how there was concern that the locks that I have in the back, some of them were flat and I didn't know what to do. But I also think I figured out why they were flat. I think they were flat because I two strand twisted my hair to start off with. And as most of you know, if you did start off with two strand twist, you have a greater possibility of your hair kind of unraveling. And I believe that is what happened with some of my locks. And it's towards the scalp that it was happening. I think that the twist basically opened up some and therefore I didn't have the palm rolling down packed. So they just kind of flattened out as my hair began to mat around itself. So now, I've got the palm rolling thing down pat and I have noticed in my sixth month I noticed that the locks were beginning to round out. Now some of the locks are still kind of on the thicker side because they are beginning to compact and I'm talking about the locks that were initially going flat but they are beginning to kind of shrink up a little bit because they're they're rounding out so they're not as wide as they used to be so I am extremely glad about that now I did retwist my hair today is Friday I retwisted my hair this past Sunday I also hennaed my hair which I love henna but for whatever reason this time around my scalp was just so inflamed it itched horribly and I didn't do anything different with my henna I use henna uh, amla powder and also I think it's pronounced Brahmi powder I use that I use distilled water and I also use a little bit of coconut oil just because I didn't want my hair to become dry because henna can sometimes have a drying effect and my scalp because I ooh. I put it on Saturday night is when I hinted my hair. I put it on and then I wrapped my hair up in plastic and I went to bed. So I let the henna sit in my hair overnight because you're supposed to let it sit on your hair for at least, I think, four or five hours. So I figured I'd just go to bed. It's my normal routine when I henna my hair. But for whatever reason, during the middle of the night, my scalp was just so itchy. So I ended up getting up that morning and I washed it all out and it still it itched so badly and it lasted for I don't know how many days I think maybe until I want to say maybe a couple days ago Wednesday it stopped itching so I don't know what I did um but yeah this time around when I hit it it just did not it didn't like me but I don't know what I'll do differently because I do like henna Henna is great for the hair conditioning properties. Plus, of course, it deposits a reddish color, which I do like that color that it deposits on my hair. But I don't know. I'll see going forward when I henna again, which probably won't be for another, um, I'm thinking, eight weeks or so. Sometimes I even go lower than that. It just depends on how I feel. But I am loving this lock journey still. I am just so impressed with my hair. My hair is growing greatly and it just amazes me because I look at other people's videos and I see where their growth is compared to where my growth is and man, I don't know. I'm not taking any growing uh, vitamins, growing hair vitamins, which I don't believe in that stuff anyway, but for whatever reason, my hair is it's it's growing you see length and wait till I turn around you'll be able to see it hopefully if I can get myself in focus here but um, I think 
that's really pretty much it. The hair is definitely locking. I can definitely tell that it's locking and you can still somewhat see where the twists were, but my hair, it won't, it won't separate. It won't come apart. It won't unravel. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it definitely won't unravel even with where you can see the definition of the twist it won't it won't come apart now some of my ends are sealing especially in the back this one here is like totally sealed from the base all the way down to the tip which is a it amazes me I, and it sh and it shrunk it shrunk greatly I I mean, this is it. This is another one. This is a different one, but yeah, they they have no give. I mean, just won't even boing, no buoyancy whatsoever. It's just, it just it amazes me. It really does because some of my locks have buoyancy, and others just they don't. Not anymore. So I'm just wondering if my entire head will be that way, and if so, I guess the length that I'm seeing right now may not be there for too much longer but it's it's a beautiful journey beautiful 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 journey and I hate when people touch my hair <laughs> for whatever reason people who don't look like me tend to want to just touch my hair and that irritates me because they don't ask me which means they're in my personal space. And I just, I don't under, I'm not an animal. I'm really not. I, as far as I know, I'm not an animal. But yeah, they just come up to me and just in my hair. And I don't want to be mean, but to me, what they're doing is extremely rude. <laughs> and I probably should say something. But yeah, I don't like that. Don't play in my hair. At least ask me before you invade my personal space. And then I'll tell you, no, don't touch my hair. But I think that's really all I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's been different other than the fact that it's definitely growing. It's still, it's locking. Um, I have major frizz. This is how I normally wear my hair. I take some locks and just kind of roll them a little bit and then have two clips that I put in my hair just to clip those back or sometimes I'll do this all the way around and then clip it towards the back I'm still not too comfortable with putting it in a ponytail just yet but I um, tend to wear it like this just about every day I sweat a great deal, especially when I work out. So my retwist, surprisingly, have actually lasted a little bit longer. And I would say that was in month seven. I did something different compared to uh, how I had been retwisting my hair. Last month, as well as this month, when I retwisted, I two-strand twisted them together. And I left them that way for this time around until today is when I actually unraveled the two strand twist. Actually, it was more than two strand twist. No, it was two stranded twist. I'm tripping, y'all. I just had about four locks together <laughs> and I two stranded twisted them. I'm tripping. I'm tired. But um, yeah, I did that last month as well as this month. And, um, well, not this month because this month just started. Sunday when I wash my hair Sunday but yeah I did that and my retwists have actually stayed and it's it's pretty cool because it's not unraveling and even last month when I washed my hair Sunday from last month's retwist you could still see the definition of where I had retwisted it though it was extremely frizzy it had not come undone like it normally does it usually reverts back to where you just have the puffiness or the new growth it usually reverts back but last month it didn't do that so that was pretty cool so I think going forward I will continue to two strand twist 
the locks so that way maybe it'll hold a little bit because when I sweat while I'm at the gym the twist don't they or the locks they can't go anywhere they just have to stay put so I think that's working for me so I think I want to continue to do that and I'm still using the same stuff that I've been using in my hair as far as the aloe vera juice distilled water and um, I do put some oils in in that water just a little bit of oil and shake that up and I'll spray that on my hair when I feel like I need some water I don't spray my hair every day because not every day does it look like it needs moisture and um, I do oil my scalp and with what I oil my scalp with I went back to something that I used to use when I was a loose natural and that is a mixture that I make which consists of olive oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, black uh, Jamaican castor oil, uh, pure vitamin E oil, not that vitamin E oil that you can get at uh, your local store for like four bucks. No, I, the vitamin E oil that I purchase is uh, very expensive it's not cheap at all and it's extremely thick so real vitamin E oil not something from a soybean I know that's that's the the cheap stuff I don't use that but um, I take that and I also have um, actually it's a little henna powder that I put in there because the oil is it's dark too when you look at it it'll look like it's kind of dark green so it's a little bit of henna oil that's in there and I take that and just shake that up and I apply that to my scalp whenever I feel like I need some oil and uh, it works for me and one thing that's surprising to me you all I don't suffer from um, what you call that lint I don't get lint I've, I have not had to pick lint out of my hair and I and I seen a lot of people or their videos where they say that they suffer from lint and that's just something I don't suffer from now I definitely don't use towels on my hair normally when I wash my hair I'll take it and just kind of squeeze it so that the water will fall out of it and then I'll just let it be that's all I do so I basically just let it air dry don't put anything on it just let it air dry and yeah I don't I don't get any I don't get any lint and I wear as you can see I got on a, a sweatshirt here and I just don't get lint I do sleep with a silk bonnet on my head which I know that helps but yeah I don't suffer from lint and I'm so thankful now my daughter she actually has decided to lock as well so I twisted her hair up I think it was on the 12th of October where I twisted her hair up and she has shorter hair because back in April she cut her hair for prom and wore it short and decided that she wanted to go ahead and lock it up so she had to wait for her sides and the back of her hair to grow back and it did and it was enough for me to grab and I started her off with two strand twists now her hair is a lot thicker than mine a lot thicker than mine and um, a lot coarser than mine as well so her hair is actually beginning to do things that took my hair a couple of months to do so her the ends of her hair are actually the coils are starting to compact already which mine took a long time to begin doing that but I did read in a number of places online that people with thicker hair coarser hair they tend to lock quicker and uh, I definitely am seeing that with my daughter's hair so I'm happy that she is taking this journey and it was something that I don't want to say I was trying to talk her out of it because that definitely wasn't the case I just wanted her to think long and hard about it because this is a, a choice that is not going to be where you have results overnight so I just wanted her to know that she would definitely have to have patience with 
doing this journey but that she definitely has my 100 percent backing and i'll definitely support her in whatever she decided to do and so she finally said well mommy i think i'm gonna do it so she's locking with me so that is pretty pretty awesome happy about that and i'm gonna show you my hair and i'm gonna shut up too because i can just talk and talk and talk and i know you're all just like tasha you talk too much so i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna show you my hair I'm not gonna take this down. I'll just turn around so that you can see the sides here. And it is, like I said, it's definitely growing. And here's the back. Which I really, really love. Yes, yes, yes. So I hope you all saw that. I probably will have to take some pictures just to be even more um, of a showman, I should say. But yeah, really happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Can't think of anything else. I need to start writing this stuff down. And I said that the last time I think I did a video or a time before that, that I need to start writing stuff down. That's what I think I may do. I may implement a journal. So that way if I find something and I know I'll forget, then I can just jot it down and always go back to it and reference it. So I think I may do that. Have a, a uh, lock journal. Yeah, I think I may have to do that. Like I said, I'm going to shut up because I talk too much. So I thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> if I'm allowed to do this again, then I'll be back. So take care. Bye.